We're in Hoban, London's geographical centre and a major business hub that welcomes over 200,000 employees every single day. But now, there's a new worker in town, 600,000 in fact, and they're moving in today. Bees. The decline of the bee population has been well documented and one that environmentalists are keen to reverse. And now businesses in central London are being offered the chance to do their bit by hosting beehives in their spare outdoor spaces. In Midtown is the Business Improvement District for Hoban, Bloomsbury and St Giles. And they're behind a new initiative offering free beehives to 560 businesses in the area. So it's more aimed at um, corporate social responsibility agenda, more about people, um, perhaps less about commercial endeavour. Um, but nevertheless, we see these things as being really important. It's great for the bees that so many businesses are taking an interest in them. Bees have declined rapidly in the last couple of years. There's a real problem with sustaining the bee population in the UK. And we're dependent for one in every three spoonfuls of food we eat or drinks we drink for bee pollination. Bees pollinate a huge number of things that we rely on. So having businesses involved in keeping them going is excellent. And there's a payback for the businesses because we're doing a lot of mentoring, we're doing a lot of teaching. People love coming out on their lunch break, out onto the roof, uh, looking at the bees. Two of the companies who signed up to the initiative are leading law firms Oswang and Mishkon Dorea. We visited their offices to find out what employees thought about bees buzzing around on their roofs. Well, we set up the bee volunteering scheme um, a few months ago and the first hives arrived um, back in May. Um, we've got about 33 volunteers signed up for um, beekeeping training with Luke, so they do it once a week um, on a Friday during lunchtime and they get to watch him do all the beekeeping. Um, the firm has been hugely excited by the, by the idea. Uh, and um, it's been very supportive of it. And then there'll be honey at the end of the year for everyone uh, as well. So um, it's a sort of win-win situation for the bees and for the businesses.